Good evening. Now, for many of us, it has been a rather cloudy day today. I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be pretty similar. Now, for tonight, we've got these overcast skies continuing, and it will be a little on the damp side. Now, our winds are still drawing in from the northeast. We've got damp conditions across eastern Scotland and eastern England, and they'll spread their way through the Midlands and Wales this coming night. For most, it stays cloudy and damp with lows between 5 and 6. A little clearer in the north with clear skies, a touch of frost for Scotland with a little bit of mist and fog. But the wind direction tomorrow will be key. This nagging northeasterly making it feel particularly chilly and always cloudy along those eastern coasts. But it will mean, with some shelter in the west, the best chance of seeing some brightness. So after a rather cloudy start for Northern Ireland, things will brighten up nicely throughout the afternoon. Western Scotland will see a little bit of brightness through the afternoon, but for the Western Isles, we will have more cloud and outbreaks of rain than today. Scattered showers or outbreaks of rain for eastern Scotland along this eastern coast of England. And without the sunshine tomorrow and with this northeasterly wind, it will feel disappointingly cool. Highs of six or seven degrees for most of us. But as I've mentioned, with the shelter from that northeasterly breeze, I'm hopeful that the southwest of England, for some parts of western Wales, there will be cloud breaks developing, allowing some brightness to come through with highs eight or nine degrees. And if you think it feels chilly tomorrow, it is set to get even colder as we head through the course of next week. The best bits of last night's Children in Need, next.